Welcome to Golden Software's video training for MapViewer 8. MapViewer is an affordable thematic mapping and spatial analysis software package that allows you to produce professional looking graphics. In this video, I will cover how to create and edit base maps. MapViewer has three overarching map types, base maps, pin maps, and thematic maps. Combining these, MapViewer offers 16 unique map types, a few of which have subtypes associated with them. You can see all of the map types in the maptypes.gsm sample file. Each map type will be discussed in its own training video. This video will discuss base maps. Base maps are vector or raster maps that add geographic context to your plot. The example here displays the county and state outlines of the western states in the United States. Base maps do not require any linked data in order to be plotted. MapViewer offers a variety of GSB boundary files in the sample directory and online in the Downloads section of our Support Central page. However, many other file types can be used to create a base map. Now that we know what a base map is, let's create one. Click File, New, Plot to open a new plot window. Click Map, Create Map, Base. Alternatively, we could click File Import to create a base map from our boundary or image files. In the Import dialog, select the africa.gsb file from the MapViewer 8 samples directory. Verify that the Show Options if they are available box is checked and click Open. In the Import Options dialog, there can be up to two tabs. If the coordinate system of the file cannot be determined, the first tab or only tab if your file does not support attributes, will be an Assigned Coordinate System tab, where you can specify the coordinate system if you know it. Since our GSB file has the coordinate system saved internally, we do not see this tab. The second tab, or only tab if your coordinate system is known, is the IDs and Attributes tab. This is where you set the columns for the PID, SID, and or hyperlink IDs and determine which boundary attributes to import. By default, all attributes except the ones chosen for the PID and SID are selected for import, but you can click on these in the attribute list to select or deselect them. And you can click on the Select All Attributes or Clear All Attributes button to select or deselect all of the attributes. We will leave the defaults and click OK. The base map is created. At this point, if we wanted to add a thematic map to this layer, we could select the map type from the Map, Create Map section of the ribbon, and then just select the data file to link to these boundary objects. Now that the base map is created, it's quite easy to edit the map properties. The first step for editing the map properties of any map type is to select the map layer. So click on the Base Map layer in the Object Manager if it's not already selected. The map properties are displayed in the Property Manager. Notice the only editable property for this map type is opacity. That is because, without any linked data, each boundary's properties are controlled individually. So if we wanted to change the line color of Algeria to a thicker blue line, we would select the Algeria object in the Object Manager, and then, in the Line tab of the Property Manager, change the color and increase the width. In the Info tab of the Property Manager for a single object, we can edit the IDs for the selected by clicking the PID, SID, or hyperlink boxes in the ID section and typing a new value. And we can edit the attributes in the Attributes section by clicking the Edit button next to Edit Attributes in the Options section. We can mass edit the properties of these boundaries by selecting multiple objects or right-clicking on the layer to select all. We can do this to label all of the countries with the country name. We can also mass edit the boundaries of multiple selected objects by clicking either Multi-Assign or Redefine in the Attributes section of the Boundary Ribbon Bar tab. Aside from importing an image or boundary file, you can create a base map by downloading a geo-referenced image directly from a web mapping server, or WMS, into MapViewer. To do so, click Map, Add, Download Map. Notice there are three sections and then a preview. The first section is the Select Data Source section. This is where you select the server 
and the layer on the server that you wish to download. You can select from one of the servers that map your ships with, or you can add your own server by doing the following. Right click on the Favorites category and click Add Map Source. On the Support Central page of our website, we have a list of WMS servers. Let's use one of those. For the URL, we'll enter http colon backslash backslash irs dot gis dash lab dot info backslash. After naming our server, we'll click Next to perform a connectivity test. Click Finish once the test is completed. You will now see this in the Favorites category. Click the arrow next to this new server to expand it, and click on the Landsat layer. The preview updates to show this new layer. The second section is the Select Area to Download section. Now that we've chosen our layer, we can choose how much of the available image to download. By default, as long as we have a coordinate system assigned to our plot, specify latitude longitude extents is toggled, and the plot limits are occupying the west, north, south, and east boxes. If this is not what we want, we could choose to download the entire data source extents, download an area within a specified distance of a latitude longitude location, or update the latitude longitude extents that are specified. We will do the latter, but rather than typing in new extents, we'll click the red rectangle icon in the preview and drag a rectangle to specify our new extents. The third section is Select Image Resolution to Download. We will leave this at the default, but you can increase or decrease the resolution of the downloaded image here. Note the higher resolution the image, the longer the download will take. Click OK to download the image. Since this is placed above the country outlines, click the minus sign next to the Layer 1 Base Map layer in the Object Manager to collapse the layer. Then click and drag this above the WMS Base Map layer. When your cursor changes from a red circle with a diagonal line through it to a black arrow, release your mouse to drop the layer in that new arrangement location. This concludes the Creating a Base Map tutorial. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.